In this video, we're continuing in our series of works power share devices. Remember how they can use the same battery for a bunch of different things? That's pretty sweet. Today we're looking at something called Nail Force, and it's their 18 gauge two-in-one nail gun and staple gun. That's what we're gonna check out today. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. My channel is dedicated to reviewing mostly as seen on TV items. I look at some consumer gadgets, other household items. Once in a while, I do a little bit of a DIY just because I like to. If that interests you, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click the bell below. That way you're notified every time I release a video just like this one. Oh yeah, one more thing. Don't forget to check down the description for my social media, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I would love it if you would follow me there too. Now, let's see how Nail Force does on the job. All right, let's unbox Nail Force. It's the Works Nail Gun. This was purchased on Amazon for $130. Now that was the price without a battery. So you have to have your own battery. So in this box, what do I have? I have directions. Oh, there's something else in there. I'll look in that in just a second. And the nail gun itself, wow. All right, so first feel. This is a pretty heavy duty nail gun i'm pretty familiar with these so i'm sure this is where the nails go i've got a trigger here um the battery goes down here what i'm going to do is i'm going to look through these directions just to figure it out i'm going to test it out right here but then i'm going to try it in the job as well um oh look does this come with my nails it comes with your starter nails Oop. well i broke mine very cool so i've got a set of nails and it looks like i've got a set of staples um, looks to be about an inch and a half, so that's cool. Let me check through the directions. So I wanna walk you through the machine just a little bit. All right, so this part up here, it's very important. Now notice I do not have the battery in. Um, in order for you to actually use this, this piece has to be plunged in, and then you can pull the trigger, and then that's how the nail or the staple comes out. This spot right here is where my nails or staples go, and since we're here, I can show you how to load it. If you're loading your staples, your staples get loaded up to the top part. See how it's up against here? Closed. And if it's your nails, your nails get loaded down here at the bottom. Just like that. Um, this machine is rated for 18 gauge. You can use anywhere from three quarters of an inch for your nails all the way up to two inches. And then your staples are going to be three quarters of an inch to an inch and a half. I believe these are inch and a half staples and these look to be like inch and a quarter, um, I'm sorry, they're inch and a half nails and looks to be inch and a quarter staples. So there's that. All right, so we talked about this already. This is our trigger. There's a little piece underneath here. That's just a button you click to put the light on. If I look on the top here, this is kind of cool, actually. This right here is just a wheel or a dial, and this is how I can just wheel it to change the depth of the staple so, or the nail. So if the either staple or nail are too deep, you can change it to bring them up, or if they're too um, shallow or they're over top the wood and you want them to go deeper, you can change it that way. That's really, really neat. I have a mode selector here. Of course, this is where your battery goes, but it's a pretty sweet machine. It's pretty heavy duty. I really like it so far um, just by looking at it. So the directions tell you that you should wear eye protection, you should wear ear protection, and you should wear gloves. When I use this um, on the job side, I will be doing all those things, but here I'll just be showing you how this works. First things first, let's put my battery in. And just to show, I did charge this completely. This, this is the battery from my chainsaw. There we go. I am loaded with the staples. I've, of course, I've clicked the button so you can see that light. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to try to staple it. So I'm going to push down, pull the trigger. Oh, that's cool. Yep, it definitely stapled it. And you can see the little mark that it made. It's this little mark right here. All right, so let's do another one. All right, so that, I'm sorry, not staples, but nailed it in. I'm gonna change the depth. At least I'm gonna try to wheel it just to see what that does. All right, let's try that again. I wheeled it all the way to the left. Okay, so you can see how that one is more of a raised profile and didn't go in all the way. So that's really, really neat. So what I'm gonna do now is I wanna try something. It's one thing to have it on a perfectly flat surface, but a lot of times you use these to put trim or molding in. I just have this piece um, from the wall that I took off. So I wound my dial back. Let's see what happens when I put it in here. Cool. 
Yep, it's definitely secured on there. So what I like is it makes a very small indent right there. Uh, let's see if we can focus in on that. Very small indent that I'll have to go over with putty later, but all in all, I'm pretty impressed. Now let's put some staples in it. So here we are. I do have the staple hooked in. Um, I have staples loaded. I did change the depth with this little dial. So I want to see what happens with that. Oh, all right. So it doesn't go all the way in when the depth is there. So I'm going to wheel it back the other way and we're going to put it another one right next to it. Okay. So you see the difference. Let's see if I can get a focus and a zoom here. All right. So with the depth level change, you can either have it stick out a little or be sunk completely. Very cool. All right. I've loaded this. I'm just going to just rapid fire just to see how I it goes over time. Oh, nothing. Oop, click my mode. Let's see. It's not working. So as I was going a few times, it felt as though it didn't shoot, but then it came right back out. Seems to be going okay. I'm surprised I still have nails in there. I shot a few more times. You notice the green light came on telling me that I am all out of nails. So... Tell me, what do you think of the works nail force? Is this something you would add to your collection? Let me know down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. You know what? As I've been using this, I've shot about 500 nails through this thing. And occasionally, I'll put it in, and it makes a noise, but no nail comes out. And I think I know what I've been doing wrong. Now, there's no battery in here, okay? So I think what happens is, as I push it, I click the trigger and I let it go before the nail even shoots out. Um, so maybe my brain works a little faster than this motor. And so if I just take the time and I put it in, then it works. So that's just a little observation I have. Let's get to some actual testing on an actual project. Let's see how well the works nail gun or Brad nailer does installing this piece of shiplap. Just like that, all nailed into place. In this video, we were looking at Nail Force. It's one of Works's power share tools that uses the same battery for different tools. I really love that feature. So I have a regular nail gun that hooks to an air compressor, right? And things I don't like about that is I don't like that I have to lug the air compressor around anytime I need to use it. Even if it's just a small job, I have to hook up all that stuff and that's pretty frustrating. Whereas the Nail Force, boop, boop, done as long as my battery is charged the regular one with the air compressor i also don't like the noise it's really loud just the machine the air compressor and sometimes i'll try to run hoses throughout to a different room but those hoses can get expensive whereas a nail force it only makes noise when you shoot the nail or the staple all right so the things however that i like about the air compressor ones it's 
quick. As soon as I hit the trigger, it shoots a nail out. That's one of the concerns or the complaints that I had about this is sometimes I would hit this and I'd be done thinking I'd be ready, but it didn't register it as quick as I wanted to, right? This also doesn't have the power of one from an air compressor. So those are some things you just need to understand about battery operated units. They might not act as fast, they might not be as strong, but you know what? For me, a typical homeowner just putting up trim around the house, this is absolutely perfect. If this is something that interests you, I will leave a link down in the description. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. As always, thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a great day. The box, it also had a clip that you just hook on right here and it does have an enclosed screw for you just to be able to clip it onto a belt or whatnot. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire review of Nail Force, one of Works's power sharing tools. You know what? In this video, I referenced this battery. And where did I get this battery from? My very first Works product that I purchased, and it's their chainsaw. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link that chainsaw review right up here. If you wanna click on it, there it is. But I'm gonna post another video down here. You wanna see what I was working on? That's gonna be in this video here. So go ahead, pick either one. And by the magic of the internet, whichever one you pick, I'm gonna join you at that video. So go ahead, click one. They're safe, I promise.